Stephen. It can't be real anything at that price. It could be, if it's old. Mother, come and look at this. It's a carpet. Just what we need. Your father says he can't afford to buy you another carpet. You shouldn't have messed up the old one. That was June's fault. It was your idea to sweep the chimney. You brought all the soot uh, down. Robert, that's enough. This one is so cheap. Yes, but second hand. Wouldn't it matter if it's messed up so much? <laughs> that's true. We do need a carpet. Don't be panting. There, you lot. Leave that alone. Very valuable carpet that is hardly worn. Do you know that belonged to the King of Arabia? Is there a King of Arabia? I don't think so. There's a Shah of Persia. Well, one of them sort. <laughs> oh dear, the lamb's cough's getting worse. It's all right, darling. We're going to the park in a minute. Real good stuff that is, Mum, you know. Stand any amount of pounding. Football boots, hockey sticks. Why don't you two go to the park? Uh, May I see it uh, spread out? Yes, please. Well, that's a bit difficult. Mum. Why? Is it stuck? Well, I mean, out here on the pavement, you know. I'll tell you what I could do. I could bring you round to your house on Afro, you know, say no return. I'm not sure. There's no harm in that. You can just send it back if you don't like it. <coughs> Very well. You may bring it on approval. It's a pleasure to do business for you, ma'am. <laughs> Mind the paint, Robert. Put it down carefully. It's here! Oh, so soon. Come, Come on, let's carry it. carry it. Me, no, you can't. Don't take it down anyway. Oh, man. The chap brought that while you were out. Oh, no, I changed. He said we owed him 22 and 9 pence. So I paid him. Oh, no. You can't expect much for that money. But we could still take it back. Oh, no! Oh, no. 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 What's that, Robert? We found it in the carpet. You didn't order a china egg as well. Of course not. In that case, you must take it back. Oh, no, but can't I we... said, take it back. What do you want? It's about that carpet you sold us. There ain't nothing wrong with that carpet, and I ain't taking it back. But there was something in it. Well, it got in at your place. It was clean as a whistle when it left here. We're not saying it wasn't clean. And if it's moths, it's easily cured with borax. But it didn't have no moths in it when I sold it. Not a single egg. That's it. That's what we found. A single egg. A single... Now, listen, I don't want any more of your cheek, young fellow, my lad. The pair of you. Go on, off you but, go. Get but, off. But, go on. Oh. Off it. Wait till the house catches. 
hatchet fire. Try something else. What about the spills? Clumsy. Where's it gone? There. Oh, Bob! Get it out, quickly. Where's the tongs? Cook more of them. Oh, look. It's, look. It's What's hatching. It? to you. It spoke. Did you hear it too? Did, did you say something? Merely returning a greeting. It is only polite. He talks. Are you real? Real? Of course I am real. But do not touch me. I am not cool yet. You will burn yourself. Isn't he beautiful? Ah, you've noticed that. Who is this perceptive little girl? This is my sister, Janie, and I'm Robert. And this is Squirrel, uh, Cyril. And this is Anthea. How do you do? Most pleased to meet you all. Am I dreaming? It must have been a very magic fire. Ah, yes. Who put my egg into the fire? It, it was, was Pobs. Thank you. I am deeply grateful. As you must have known, I can only be reborn among flames. Reborn among flames? Surely, there's only one bird. Indeed, there is only one. What are you talking about? I know who he is. You're the phoenix. The phoenix, please. It seems my fame has lived for 2,000 years. 2,000 years? Since I last appeared on Earth. Is that a picture? My portrait. Let me see it. Oh. Not a very flattering likeness. May I ask, what is a phoenix? Hmm? I suppose I ought to know. A fabulous bird of antiquity. According to ancient writers, the, pho the phoenix lives for 500 years. When it grows old, it builds itself a fire and burns itself in the flames. How awful. No, it's not, because a new phoenix arises from the ashes. When the egg is once more placed in a suitable fire... Essence is all that. I reappear, as you see. Please don't vanish again. Do you wish me to stay? Oh, oh yes, yes please. please! Why? Because you're the most beautiful bird we've ever seen. Oh, what an excellent answer. I will stay. But how did you get here? Why was your egg in our carpet? Ah, a carpet. Now there is a secret of great importance. Father! But not let him see you. He wouldn't even let us keep a canary. Eliza! Where are Eliza and Cook? I've been ringing the bell to my arm aches. It's Cook's birthday. And you said that she could have a day off. And Eliza could go with us for company. It does? Yeah. Well, now you come to mention it. After that rude interruption, what was I saying? About the carpet. Ah, yes. When I last went to sleep in my egg, I was in the presence of a prince and princess who were the proud possessors of a magic carpet. Magic carpet? It used to carry the royal couple wherever they wanted to go. They gave the carpet to me and placed my egg in it. 
The carpet carried me away so that I could sleep securely. Two thousand years ago? And what became of the carpet? The magic one? Let me see. Yes, I recall the pattern very well. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed what? You are sitting on it. <gasps> oh, this one? This used to be a magic carpet? Used to be? I am sure the magic is still as potent as ever. You mean it would still work? Would it still carry us about? Certainly. It <laughs> obeys anyone who makes a wish to go somewhere. Anywhere? Anywhere at all. I don't believe it. Don't believe it? I'm sure the phoenix must be right, whatever he says. <laughs> so clever, that child. All right, let's prove it. Oh, drat! It's always lunchtime, just when you want to do something interesting. We shall have to go now. We shan't be long. You have my leave to depart. I need an hour's rest. I must find a suitable place. Being reborn always makes me tired. Tired? You've been sleeping for 2,000 years. You may enjoy your back. I don't suppose Cook and Eliza will be back till supper time, so you'll have to look after yourselves till then. Yes, Mother. And mind you don't get into any trouble. Trouble, Father? The sort of trouble you get into when you're left alone in the house. Don't. Yes, uh, no. Goodbye, dear. him, you say something like, Oh, hi, mighty one, your humble servant, grave audience. Somebody calling me? You see what I mean? We want to go somewhere on the carpet. Where do you wish to go? The North Pole. That would be exciting. Jolly.